malaika, nakupenda malaika. Malaika, nakupenda malaika. Ninge kuwa maliwe, ninge kuwa dada. Nashandwana mali sinda we. Ninge kuwa malaika Nashandwana mali sinna we Ninge kuwa malaika Esa zasumbu wa roho yangu Esa zasumbu wa roho yangu Nami ni fanye je, kichanda mwenzi yo. Nashandwana mali sina we, ninge kuwa malaika. Nashandwana mali sina we, ninge kuwa malaika. Kidege huku waza kidege. Kidege huku waza kidege nami ni fanjeye kijana mwenzio na shandwana mali sina we ninge kuwa malaika na shandwana mali sina we ninge kuwa malaika Malaika, nakupenda malaika. Malaika, nakupenda malaika. Well, if you've made it this far, then I want to say thank you very much. And I want to ask Sue Thompson if she believes I did that song justice. I find it a very difficult song to sing because of its beauty and its depth of meaning. It's one of my favorite African songs amongst others. But Sue, thank you for your request. It's very unusual, but um, okay, we did it. I hope that I did it justice. And if anybody else has stayed long enough, I just want to show you Happy Holiday because I do find it relatively fitting for the season. The fact that it has opened before the holidays actually got into full swing. But the interesting thing about this one is, and that is what I want to show you, how it changes colors from when blooms first open to as they age. Now, granted, these are almost out the door, but still pretty nonetheless. I would say another day or two and they will be cut off in order to let the new spike do its thing. But yes, this is actually the interesting part of this orchid that it opens up a chartreuse color. These blooms are now three days old and you can start to see the flaring. And then in another couple of days it will mature to the white and the yellow flares. So if you have this orchid, maybe, maybe it color changes. I know that the orchid room doesn't have the color change despite the fact that the blooms age, which of course is disappointing because the reason we buy this hybrid is for the flaring in the petals and the sepals. Anyway, the fragrance is already there. We have a very, very, very pungent fresh citrus fragrance that has the essential oils of a squeezed lemon rind smell to it. Delicious, intense, 
And basically I wanted to share what it does because we do have the opportunity of older blooms as opposed to the two new blooms that has, has just opened. And also to say a massive thank you. A massive thank you. Today we are not blown away. <laughs> when we first saw this orchid, it was on the 12th of December. It was a very windy day. I was actually holding the pot down so I wouldn't get blown away with my back towards the wind in order to protect the bite. <laughs> Today I am blown away not by any external elements, but by your kind comments regarding my Christmas story with the Christmas tree. You're all very, very patient. You're very, very kind and generous with your time. And I really wanted to say thank you so much. I was blown away, still am, at how well a little bit of jibber jabber about my little Christmas story was received. I really appreciate it. And I am tempted now to maybe make an orchid series called Out of Africa. <laughs> if I'm doing a mundane task that could be of interest to some, orchid maintenance, etc., film it while I reminisce on a story. I have something in mind for Easter <laughs> when we get there. That will be my Easter story. It'll probably have to be in two or three parts, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. But yeah. It is definitely tempting and encouraging me to do an Out of Africa series while I do go about my business with a mundane orchid task. So I want to wish everybody very happy holidays. I know that uh, not everybody celebrates and things have been really tough this year. It is New Year's Eve. I can only volunteer the following and that I do wish everybody a prosperous, happy, healthy 2021. When I was looking back at this time last year, I had made specific choices for 2020 plans to get out of my mental personal lockdown and start trying to find the nuggets of me that I always valued and cherished so much. That didn't last very long because it took not even eight weeks and Spain was in lockdown. So I've shelved those intentions. I started a YouTube channel, studied the software. To my understanding, it's gotten a little bit better, including the audio. There are no more distortions. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you to everybody who was here from the beginning, put up with the stumblings and the mumblings, and my apologies in the description regarding the distortions. I was trying to fight to get around them. Very, very, very grateful to all of you. I do have plans for 2021. I would like them to be the same as I had for 2020, but I'm not going to get my hopes up too high in order to avoid getting crushed. Again, I'm going to remain an optimistic pessimist. Plan for the worst, hope for the best. But there's one thing about this year I have to say. It'll always remind me of everybody that I've found along the way. All your comments. When I don't speak to people in my world, you have opened up a new world and I love it. I love talking to you. I like our correspondence, the brainstorming in the comments, your suggestions, your inspirations. And I've always looked forward to my blooms whenever I see a spike or a bud, but this year it's gone next level because I see a spike or a bud and I immediately go to my list and check who's up next. And I allocate that, make a note. And then I watch my spikes and buds with much more anticipation and glee. There are many words to describe anticipation, but glee comes to mind, that youthful, childish, yippee glee kind of thing. And then when I see your comments while the spikes and buds develop, and I know you've been allocated, it just warms my heart and makes me feel I know something that you don't. <laughs> and I don't like to point people in the direction of my Blooms For You series if they have been mentioned, because not everybody has time to watch videos. And of course, you're not, you, you don't know when your name has come up. It's a spontaneous thing, so I don't, 
you know, I don't want to go, oh, look, 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 check this out. But when I do see your name and I know you haven't seen the video, then I do bring it up because I want you to know that you have been recognized. I've seen you. I've gotten to your name and this and that bloom belongs to you. So that for 2020 with my orchid collection has been a game changer to be able to see what's going on and go to my list and then really, really look forward to be able to put the videos together and post them. They used to be much longer because of the amount of time that I took to acknowledge and address each and every one of you in that series. And there were many blooms. Now I'm going to shorten them, a little bit of introduction, and feature the blooms and still dedicate enough time to thank everybody accordingly without rushing through the names even though I'm grouping them up. But there will be less variety. There will be more blooms for your videos, but shorter. And I think that's only fair so that I'm not getting ahead of myself, rushing through your names and not giving you the time and the due credit. So those are my plans for 2021 when it comes to that series. And there's Out of Africa will come in, sneak in a little bit here and there. But in the meantime, I do wish you, everyone, whether you're the first time on my channel or you've been here from Jump Street, wherever you are in the world, be safe tonight. Watch the pets. <laughs> they don't know what's going on. <laughs> Ooh! Pardon the change of tune here, but I just downloaded that clip and I was like, no way, I was getting heavy on the emotional front and deep and all that, and I'm so sorry, forgive me. This is, that was very heavy. So I'm gonna just change the tune of the clip a little bit <laughs> and just quickly add something on with a little bit of more of an upbeat atmosphere. Wow, when I listen to this back and I'm like, okay, that message can stay, but let's make this a little bit more upbeat. Whew, that was getting heavy. And I also remembered one thing. What do you do on New Year's Eve? Let me point you in a direction if you are not aware of this and if you have to stay home and can't go to the normal New Year's Eve bash. Let me point you into the direction of Dinner for One. If you have not heard of Dinner for One, Please Google it. I'm sure it is on YouTube right now. It is my New Year's Eve tradition at 5 p.m. to watch Dinner for One, no matter where I am in the world. And I used to do a lot, a lot of traveling. So I never knew when the German TV and the internet and how I could find my Dinner for One episode in order to watch it on time at 5 p.m. because I'm kind of pedantic about that for New Year's Eve. I have my glass of bubbly and I'm ready to watch Dinner for One at 5 p.m. no matter where I am in the world. And I have actually a DVD that used to travel with me. <laughs> it is so funny. It's a skit. I won't say much more, but it is about a butler and the 99th birthday of Miss Sophie. And the butler drinks for all the guests that are not there anymore. You can imagine what happens with the butler. So if you haven't seen it and you want a good laugh, then find dinner for one and enjoy. That is my tradition for New Year's Eve. Let me know what you do in the comments below, what you would normally do, even though we can't this year, but I'd like to hear what different traditions are around in the world of the orchid growers. Thank you very, very much. Please, please stay safe tonight. Stay safe in 2021. I appreciate everything that you have brought to my life in 2020, and I look forward to expanding on that in 2021. Take care, everybody. Happy New Year. Bye.